Well, welcome back everybody and this is the view let's say we have this piece of log right here and what we want to do is we want to transport it to over here okay and you're by yourself or there's a couple of you it's a pretty big log let's say it's a big log it's heavy log a couple of young boys want to travel it over they want to use it to form a place to sit on a bench or they want to cut it up after they get to where they're at and they want to uh to bucket and and saw and then uh, chop it up split it up to make some firewood anyway so or they're using to build something whatever the example is okay well to get it over there we're going to use a knot called a timber hitch the timber hitch i've used a load of times a lot when i was while, while in scouting while just out in the woods myself comes in handy especially to pull logs along especially big logs if you want to and let's say you even if you have a, a bigger log you're pulling and you have you're pulling with your vehicle or with a quad or something like that or a bunch of guys you can drag it along this way and the problem that you have is this, if you only tie your cord around one end like it's right here then this was going to get bogged up on any kind of little stump or any kind of little dirt mound that comes along so what this knot does it enables you to be able to pull this log without the run the pull the running in or the pulling end of it the front of it from getting bogged down so follow along with me right here so welcome back the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our cord and i got to do all this with one hand because i'm holding the camera here so i do, a, do beg your pardon and you're going to wrap this around the end of it okay you're going to pull it where you have enough of the running end right here that's in position right here this is going to be the running end right here but this, for the moment it's not right here this is going to be the running end you're going to wrap it around it and what you're going to do is you're going to run it on itself about four or five times okay once you've done that then you're going to tighten it up like so okay once that's tight that's in this position right here you're going to pull the cord down here to the other end okay all the way to the other end what you're going to do is you're going to run the cord around it try to get it up under the log as much as possible okay and then you're going to run it through under it under the the standing end you're going to run the other cord through it and keep running it through it of course it's a pretty long cord and there you go what this enables you to do is be able to pull this okay and if you come to a point that's a bit bogged down you can lift it up here a little bit and get it over it okay and you keep pulling, you keep pulling, and you get it up over things that you need to. Once you've gotten to where you want to use it at, come back, basically pull itself out, come back to the end. You notice that it didn't tighten up too much, just enough to cause some friction on itself, and there you go. So with a good piece of cord like it's right here, this happens to be a nylon cord I have here in manila color. I also have this in cotton, but this right here works really well. This manila color does quite strong. I definitely suggest as an individual, you have yourself several pieces like this long that you carry with you. And uh, I'll show you a way of securing this. And you can always stick it in a bag or something like that. I'll put it on the outside of your rucksack if you need to real quick. But anyway, that was the timber hitch. And I hope you got that. We watch the video again. <laughs> Pretty easy, pretty simple to use, and it enables you to be able to pull a log of any length. Well, if you have the the power to pull it, and uh, you're able to uh, to transport a piece of log by yourself or a couple of guys, especially if it's too big, you can drag it through the woods very quickly to wherever you want to use it at, to bucket up or whatever job you have. Anyway, 